Welcome to the Through the Line on Pop Face with Janelle Millet, and I'm back with another one. God bless. And God bless. I just dogged up a little bit to get on here. I can really tell us. This is the truth. Today is August. August the 1st, 2024. And I'm here with some more. I don't know if I can top yesterday. I'll just have the rest of um, verses to read today. I'm going to keep it a little light today. <coughs> this is the truth. I may come back with a banger later in the week or something, or maybe Sunday or Monday or something. But right now, when I went back and I looked at that video and I looked at it twice, I was like, mm -hmm. how can you top that one? You got one right there. I don't know if you can top that one tomorrow or just if you're topping it, but... It's usually the Holy Spirit that takes over the, you know, to take the wheel, Holy Spirit, because it's all, it's all you, big baby. So happy August, happy August to everyone, and happy birthday to everyone that celebrates a birthday in August. And happy birthday to myself as well, because this is my month of, of celebration for my birthday. Um, I want to say at this time, thank you, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, King Jesus. I love you so much, and I'm never going to stop loving you, or I'm never going to just let you go. Never. So the good news is Jesus lives. Yes, the Son, the Son is here. Uh... Yes, he is. So, I'm going to pull out this little recipe. It's, it's been through a lot, Lord, but thank you. Thank you, thank you for unsealed things, unlock doors, um, open windows, and let fresh air in. This this book has been such a pleasure to me to uh, partake in the energy of this book here. The city me, this is my like Exodus prayer book. Like this is the blessing from the most high almighty God. Hmm? And, and so many more blessings. As above, so below. I'm here to preach the word of the Lord today. Today is a beautiful day, said God, and I want to rejoice in it. And I'm going to continue to rejoice in it. Now, mind you, I took a long long nap. You know, it's like, what? It's Thursday. I know it's Thursday. I know what day it is. And I know that I need that nap. Uh, my neck still hurts, but it's okay. And I'm okay. And I'm okay. So let's go ahead and see what we have to do. Let's see here. We got a prayer of footing here. Um, A prayer of footing. It was wrote on 12-15-22. Oh, we've come a long way, haven't we, big baby? A long way. Let's respect the Lord, and thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Set me upon a rock. My foot standeth in an even place. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip and have put all things under my feet and gave me to be the head over all things which is to come. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God have before ordained that we should walk in them. My feet walk the journey of the righteous and follow the instruction of the Lord. Amen and amen. Uh, amen. Look. I have no exciting news today. I just thought I would say it like that because I know y'all was like, what you about to say, sweaty that? Nothing. But I do want to say this. I love you, babe. I love that, y'all. <laughs>
I love you, babe. God bless you. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Jesus, for babe. And thank you for the sun that has risen. The sun has risen, y'all. Look at that sun. Look at that beautiful sun. I got a beautiful sun shining on me. Protecting me, watching over me, and I sure am pleased. God is so good. I want to thank God. Uh huh. We can get a little teary eyed with what God has done for me. Yes, yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing that for me. Thank you for your mighty protection. And I go give me my share. Well, y'all, it's, it's been an emotional experience. That is true. I need to make an abruption. Because I said I was reading at the end. I was reading 2 um, Corinthians 3 and 17 is where I started, but... I did jump over to 2 Corinthians 4, and that's where I left off at. And I said I was going to come back today and con continue to finish that. So I really don't have a breakdown of it. I'm just going to read, and then I'm going to go on into Psalms 116, because it was referenced to that. So at this moment, let's get it together, huh? And let's go. <laughs> God is so good. Ain't God good? Hey, babe. Babe, God is good. <laughs> hey, hey. I, will, no, I can't even say. See, that's why it's so funny because now I can't even really, like, break it down like I want to because I do stuff in secret now. But um, I did not drink a shake today. Um, I did have a, a nice breakfast. God is good. Thank you for providing for me a, a well-balanced breakfast. And I just ate some noodles, which was not very good. I garlic them down too much. I don't know if they were cheese noodles. They weren't because I didn't want to, like, you know, say, my stomach growling on here. So I ate that, but I got I to say, I knew it. I knew it when I made it. I was like, I'm not going to be, it's not going to be. And I just guess I talked it into existence. It was not that great, but it was at a bell. And I'm thankful. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't you don't be a banger sometimes. I say, oh, this is a curse to be able to cook as good as I do. When I tell you I'm a bouncer uh, at cooking some breakfast, I didn't put I didn't put people out of business with my breakfast. Either. And a matter of fact, and and on top of that, I could. I can um I can make Gordon Ramsay say this is delicious. I really can. I, I, a southern gal like me, I come in there with some vittles and throw that hot plate down on that table. You eat that, you'd be like, damn. Oh, that's me. That's me, y'all. Well, anyway, let me go ahead and get my message started. It's a little late in the evening. It's a little bit after seven, so I'm coming a little later than usual. It says. We have this treasure from God, but we are like clay jars that hold the treasure. This shows that the great power is from God, not from us. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We do not know what to do, but we do not give up. The hope of living. We are prosecuted, but God does not leave us. So I want to stop and say something to Bay at this time. This is Bay. Bay. Y'all be messing with my baby. Bay, Bay, you know how I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see that? Did you see that little picture I put on there? Me walking through the water with my big old stilettos on. I'm a, I'm a beast, y'all, but I'm still a lady. Don't mess with my baby, and don't mess with my sons. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with my family. I will karate chop you to another uh, dimension. 
and that dimension I've seen with you, you're not going to like it there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I could do that. With my mind and the, the power that God has given me. I'm not to be played with, basically, what I'm saying. It says, we are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. Mm, that's beautiful. I like that. Because a little heart will get a little heavy sometimes. Thank you. Don't. I'm thankful to God. Like I told y'all once before, if y'all been watching me for a while, I told you, I said, this heart don't ache like it used to. Oh, they used to ache so hard. I could have just closed my eyes and died. The Lord just stepped in and just covered it. Now I don't hurt so bad no more. I still get a little emotional. The ache. And that clump, that pain is it would ache so hard in my 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 um my heart. I would feel it in my my throat. That's how achy it would it would be all up in here to travel. It was like oh, the way the world would hurt me. But it says we have not been destroyed. See, God didn't let it destroy him. And I want to thank God again at this time for thanking you, Lord Jesus, for for all the miracles that have taken place and what you have done for me and given. My son, his new life. Yeah, the villain. The villain. Yeah. We carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus can also be seen in our bodies. Look at God. Look at God. See, oh, excuse me. I know I'm always digging it, like I'm an ocean or something. I ain't digging it, okay? But um, we all possess. See, that's what, that's why I said keep your temple holy, because that's the only way Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Father, King Jesus, the Holy Trinity, can dwell inside of us. Corn now. I was like, what's that? I promise you, I'll tell you. This is all so new to me. I continue to learn and grow. I did go to, I attend church when I was a child. Nothing in that church caught my attention. Nothing but one person. It was a drama boy. I think I remember somebody playing drums. And I got confused because there was another person there that looked something like the other person. But I think the other person left and went on and did some other work somewhere else or left the church or something like that. I don't know. I think they left. They left me. But anyway, if I'm not mistaken, that I used to look at that person like, but I didn't never, you know, I was a little girl wearing little 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 dress. I had about three dresses. I wore to church. My mama had all these clothes, and I wore. I had like three, four dresses and about two skirts, and I wore that out going to church. And I would wear these socks that was all the way up to my knees, and um, yeah, that was me. And I remember my favorite dress now that I think about it was turquoise. It was a turquoise dress, and it had lace around here like this, and it had buttons going down like this, and it blurred out. And um, it was the cutest dress, and I probably wore that one more than anything that I think about it. Just down, back down memory lane. But see, Jesus will possess, will possess us. If we take care of our temple and we uh, we honor God and we sacrifice our life to him and we give in to the temptations of the world so that he can dwell and live within us. Let's see. It says here, we are alive, but Jesus, but for Jesus, we are also in danger of death so that the life of Jesus can be seen in our bodies that die. So death is working in us, but the life is working in you. Let me see. Let me say that again. So death is working in us, but the life is working in you. It is written in scripture. I believe so I spoke. Our faith is like this too. We believe and so we speak. 
So I'm going to skip down to 16 and it says, so we do not give up. Our physical body is becoming older and weaker, but our spirit inside us is made new every day. We have small troubles for a while now, but they are helping us gain Ooh, this, is, this little book right here, it's just the little papers just be so, it is helping us gain an eternal glory that is much greater than the troubles. 18, we set our eyes not on what we see, but what we cannot see. What we see will uh, last only a short time, but what we cannot see will last forever wow that's beautiful how do we know what it is if we can't see it and it lasts it forever how are we gonna know it's lasting forever if we can't see it hmm, strange it's just one the bible it's so tricky it's like what that's why it says you got to put your all in it to understand the bible you got to be like dang there like laying on your belly eating dirt to understand the Bible like I'm not saying it like that but I'm just saying like you got to be like really uh, sincerely understanding to get that understanding oh you got to get down there and dirty down dirty up in there with that spirit okay so at this time I want to go to Psalms 116 and this is called the thanksgiving for escaping death it says I love the Lord because he listened to my prayers for help. He paid attention to me so that I will call to him for help as long as I live. The ropes of death bound me and the fear of the grave took hold of me. I was troubled and sad. Then I called out the name of the Lord and I remember when I did it, mm, the love and the love and I said, love. Uh 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 uh. I cannot this. I cannot with this anymore. I cannot do this alone, Lord Jesus. This is the wind was blowing, snap the flying cries, tears, oh, uh, water flying all in my face. My hair was going like this. I like Lord. I kept doing it. It's almost as though I was on a mountain. Like I had climbed the mountain. I said I can't take it anymore, Lord. Send me to me. The ones like me. Hmm. You heard that cry. It says, then I called out the name of the Lord. I said, please, Lord, save me. Explanation point. I did. I said, save me, Lord, protect me. Right. I didn't realize when I said that it was going to be such a battle for my soul. So I believe that we are here to fight. To save souls, right? To save the souls, the devil wants to keep them bound down and destroy them all and use them as energy so they could continue to pounce around this earth and devour, you know, uh, conquer and enslave. We're here to save them. Get you out of here. I'm still working on me. But at the same time, I hope that I'm helping someone along the way with what I find to be true and what the Lord sends me to, or leads me to, to speak on. So we said, save us, Lord. It says, yes. I said, please, Lord, save me. The Lord is kind. Isn't the Lord kind? The Lord is kind. And does what is right. And our God is merciful. So continuing on with Psalms 118 and 5 is where I'm starting. I was in trouble, so I called to the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. I will not be afraid because the Lord is with me. People can do anything to me. The Lord, people can't do anything to me. The Lord is with me me to help me so that I will see my enemy defeated. I will see my enemies defeated. It is 
better to trust the Lord than to trust people. It is better to trust the Lord than to trust princes. All the nations surrounding me or surrounded me, but I defeated to the um I've defeated them in the name of the Lord. They surrounded me on every side, but with the Lord's power, I defeated them. Shout uh, of joy and victory came from the tents of those who do right. The power of the Lord has won the victory. This, um, with power of the Lord, has done mighty things. The power of the Lord has done mighty, mighty things. Might I add an extra couple of mighties? I will not die, but live. And I will tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has taught me a hard lesson, but he did not leave. He did not let me die. I learned a hard lesson. Yes, I did. Uh huh. I okay. You thought I put you out here on the battlefield. You're gonna learn something, big baby. You about to learn. You 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 ready? You ready? Cup cup enough buttercup. Here it comes. Bam! I was like, oh my God, they left me in the wilderness so that I can learn. Get me ready. Strengthen me up. Get my mind right. Let go of the old toxic ways and baggages. I still have some things to do, right? Gluttony might be one of my problems. Like I said, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a curse to be able to cook the way I do. Like I said, that last little thing I just did, the little noodle thing, it was disgusting. But what I'm saying is certain things when I cook, I'm like, Jesus, this is so dang gone damn good. I'm going to run another plate. And that can be hard, especially when you live alone and you got to tell, you got like, you know, you make enough or you might like, I'm going to make enough. I can eat on this a couple of days. So it's like a big pot of spaghetti and you can go back like, let me get a little bowl, another little bowl, you know. Okay, let me get a little, another little piece of garlic bread right here. You know, it's, it's, sometimes it'd be hard. So God forgive me because we have to be carnal. I had to look carnal up. I didn't know what that meant. Honestly, I did not. Letting go of the fleshly desires and things of that nature, which leads to sexual stuff that can be gluttony. In all different sorts of ways. So food is probably my only thing. Um, I mean, I haven't been able to go shopping because my money hasn't been right. So that's not a problem. But at one point, yeah, it was. I was like, this makes me happy. I'm going to go shopping. I worked hard. Let me go spend all the money that I made. You know, it's kind of like that. The devil had me tricked. Okay, so it says, um, open for me the temple gate. Then I will come in and thank the Lord. This is the Lord's gate. Only those who are good may enter through it. The stone that the builders rejected became the cornerstone. Wow. This is the word of the Lord. So I'm very, very pleased. Yes. Um, Y'all can't get in. Y'all stinking rats. Oh, excuse me. Y'all can't get in the gate. The rats ain't allowed up in here. Well, the rats in heaven, and ain't no rats gonna be coming up in your. You can't come in here with dirty, foul intentions. This is heaven. Heaven don't play that. No, that's why it's called heaven, because it's a place where the evil does not dwell. You can't come in her. The Lord's gates, those are the pearly gates. The only gates I'm concerned about getting in. I don't care about the gatekeepers and the door masters or other dirty, dirty places. I don't want to come and dwell with y'all. I want to be in the heavenly, most heavenly, most cleanest, purest, wholesome, the loving place there is. And that's heaven. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. And I want my family to make it too. In the name of Jesus. In the, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Let's go ahead and pull some adult drops. Energies. It's chilly. Where's that thing at? Let me turn this one off. Mm -hmm. So how's Bay and Bay's world? Oh, Bay's the fire and Bay's world. What a Jesus, Jesus, sound. 
that you're too busy. You got time. You got time. You gonna make time for me, girl. I'll just be. I mean, I'm a, I said I wanted to be the tambourine man, but I was like, oh man, when I realized the tambourine has something to do with gypsies, I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, I don't want to be. I just, I'll just be there. Just be supportive, like, kind of like a, a secret security for Bay. Making sure everything's straight. Nobody touches Bay. Don't touch him. You know, like, you know, the wife, the wife will be like the the main secret service person the one that's gonna be like i got all kind of weapons on me but you just don't see them you know i'm coming with the holy spirit or i'm coming i'm coming divine just to be a protector over bay and my family Mm -hmm. let me go ahead at this time and do you want a bowdy bowdy type of wife you want a bowdy bowdy type of mother yeah a whole family is yeah, you know what I'm saying? A whole family's like that. That's what the devil keep on trying to attack me. A devil keep on trying to get us because the devil keep trying to trick trick us up and put us in a trick bag. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Because you so mighty dynamite. You know what I mean? Like, thank you, Lord, for what you've done, what you blessed me with and the protection that is all around me and the love of the sun. Yes. Thank you. And the father. And the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 717, an indication that you are going in the right direction. It says that. We asked the Father to lead us in the right direction. The Father, we cried out. We said, we don't want no more. We just want to serve some window. We, we, we want to be protected. Be protected. Be protected. We want to be protected by the Holy Spirit and the Father of the King Jesus and all that. We want to be on your side because that's the right side. And we don't, we had to let it all go. We was like, uh-uh, we don't want to, we want to go through the pearly gates. We want to see what's on the other side. We want to, I, hey, if it's, if it's one place I want to see, it's heaven. I care less what that club look like on the inside when I'm driving by the club. I'm like, I don't care to know what it looks like in there. I know what's in there. And I don't want no parts of none of it. None of it. None of it. I'm a little too old to be. We got people in there still candy fire smoking a cigarette. Uh, old men in there still trying to take time to smoke hot little mamas and stuff. I'm like, please, I'm so happy. It's not in me. They want me to shut my mouth, Lord. They want me to shut up, especially them hug Jezebel spirits. They don't work so hard to, to get their bodies right. And stuff and do their twerking and their their um their hot mama summers or whatever to look to um seduce men and stuff and I'm like y'all y'all men need to hold some women with the big hearts and they was like don't you say we done got our butts all done up and we done paid all this money to get our lips botoxed and we walk around here looking like goddess yeah that's what y'all think y'all look like y'all look like some hoes. Good on stunch. Y'all ain't y'all ain't just gonna be coming into heaven with all that fake stuff. We got Aries energy in the house. Mm-hmm. The air sign, no, oh, an air sign energy, and it says you cannot mess with the light. Ooh, yeah, because the light the light shines so bright, it's gonna just show you up. So I heard someone that hired somebody to help with the case of Tupac's death and things of that nature. They're going for a certain particular person. Well, that's awesome to know. Finish him. I declare he be finished in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But not just for that because, you know, y'all want him to go down for that. No, we want him to go down for all the things that he's done. Not just one thing. Though that was a big one. And what would y'all give him? A couple of years in the penitentiary for that? A year? A life sentence? Uh, I feel some energy of a, of a Epstein's or Epstein's or something like that that is attached to this person and everybody know it. It's like, didn't he, they say he committed suicide in jail when he got caught up. 
but I don't think that's how that happened. I think he just left that body and got him a new body. And now everybody's scared because here I come telling everybody, hey, y'all, the spirits be attached to everybody. They be jumping steps and leaving people and going to the next body. And demons do exist. So to the people that think they're going to use this man to keep them from getting caught, you're all going to get caught. Um, Like I said, go ahead and live your life, your best life here on earth. But what a time soon the time will come when you will be going to hell. I know people already have lost pretty much respect for you. It's like the industry just don't hit right no more. And somebody said, brow, um, what's it, brows, up brows, or negroes, or um, uppity brows, or negroes, or something like that. Somebody said something like that. Well, I'm going to tell you right now whoever said that. My brows are drawn on. What about yours? Hmm? You, you get yours, you get yours waxed, or you use the string. How do you get yours done? Because your brows are, are better than mine. But, you know, when you have the right kind of money, you can get the best the best work done. You know, well, see about this right here. That, that right here, this right here, that's 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 the worst part of what you, of you. Um, This right here. Yeah, I always talk about that, don't I? No, right? Right? You know, because I got it going on like that, too. But, you know... I'm not going to lie. There's certain things that, you know, you could go get a little touch up here and there, you know. But as far as, like, implants or making my lips bigger or um, something like that, no, no, uh -uh, I'm not doing it. But, bro, your movies are the same every time. And, you know, you have made a lot of money off of people being that those are desperate, lonely Christian women that do it your auditorium. You gave us some good laughs. I have a feeling, I feel an energy of Flip Wilson on this person. A Flip Wilson energy. You know, back in the day, in the black and white days, it was so, everybody was doing it, wasn't it? Everybody putting on dresses. And, yeah. We even had my pappy bed. Pappy bro, bro, Bubba Daddy Bubba he, His big self had to put on a, a blonde wig And act like a comb Yeah We're stopping that That's not going to keep We're not going to keep doing that mm -mm. We're not going to keep demasculating my, my peoples my, Our men No mm -mm. Let me continue on you're gay. And stop acting like you're not gay. You're gay. Okay? And you're mad because you, you, you're you gay? Don't be mad at us because you're gay. We can say, hey, you're gay. We're saying, we're telling you, we know you're gay. It's like, don't talk about my, your movie, your movie's all the same. You want, maybe, want to make it seem like we deep down, we don't have no good, uh, we, we don't have a good life. And little love, and then here comes somebody to save us, the Macho Man, and the end with the fake braids. Come on, man. There's more to life than that. We could be doing some some real good movies, like some mystery movies and some documentary movies and things like that. But the old movie plots is always the same. Ain't about sick of them. I ain't go see the last one. I don't know what happened. Mm -mm, I ain't seen it, but I heard it was trash. Let's see. God is the best lover. Mm -hmm. Love me in my downtime. Love me in my good time. Never puts me down. Never puts me down. Never dots my eye. Don't cheat on me. You know. Don't leave me out in the cold. Always there to console me, to, to lift me up, and to, to, to tell me he just truly cares. Never is going to stop loving me. We have cancer energy in the house. Yeah, why are you making all those movies about the 
the one that beat down what her lover and then that beats her and then she goes back and she gets her strength back and then here comes the captain captain um the captain of her life that comes in and loves her and we's like we all all walk out of the movie theater like oh, wow I can't wait to my Tyler Perry moment. I said it. Oops, excuse me. But I'm just saying is that this is an example. Um you can't silence the truth teller. It's um their contract to speak the truth. Yeah, they want me to shut my mouth. We're gonna go back. Okay. Yeah, they want me <laughs> Hello L L L O L. They want me to shut my mouth, but you can't silence the truth teller. That's my position. I'm here to tell the truth, not about the truth. So I have my God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They can't stop me. Up. If I was you, I'd take precautions. <laughs> they all running around, uh, get get the stuff, get the stuff, put the stuff away, throw it away, burn it, move, let's move, come on. Um, hiring the, the, the attorneys. Um, pretend it ain't us. <laughs> pretend it ain't us. It's you. Um, we got gear so sweet. Bumpo, Bumpo, oh, thank you. Hi, babe. You're so sweet. I love you so much. You're just so sweet. I was like, babe, when I hear Bay's voice, I'm telling you, I, last time I heard Bay's voice, the last time I heard Bay's voice, I, I cried. I got the Holy Ghost to hit me. I was like, see, you don't see when the Holy Ghost hits you. You're supposed to be doing all that. I don't believe that's what that is. I think that you're possessed or you're putting on a damn good show for some attention. That Holy Ghost hit you. All you really can do is cry. Just cry. truth proverbs 27 and 1 do not boast about tomorrow for you do not know what the day may bring forth that's what i'm saying to all them people that think they got it going on and stuff and then like now they're looking like if they watch these videos they're like they mad and they're scared at the same time and they're like get get our stuff hire our stuff move the stuff change the stuff Stop doing this stuff. It wasn't us. We didn't do it. Yes, you did. Y'all been doing it. Y'all y'all dirty with it. Y'all been dirty with it. And now y'all trying to cover it up, clean it up, uh, throw away the evidence, uh, detour people. No, you can't detour. The, 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 the devil thinks you're smart enough to detour God. You cannot detour God. This is God's plan. God said it's, it's that time. God said he was going to come back. Y'all just didn't think he was going to be doing your time. Y'all thought y'all going to be able to play it all uh, all the way through, like, all the way through your life. Tap dance all the way through your life with the devilish tales. And look at what happened. God arrived. God has shown up. Oh, wow. I didn't know my arm was doing that again. God has shown up. in his hair and y'all scared that would be too if um i knew god was coming for me y'all some bad eggs and y'all smell like y'all smell e like evil um y'all smell like trouble y'all are some misprints misprints um the person who is in the way and behaves badly and breaks the laws y'all been breaking all kind of god's laws your time is up. And for what you did to my family, whoo, 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 oh boy, good Lord, I'm going to keep on praying and prayers. I'm going to keep on doing it. That's why I speak the truth because God says, as long as I can tell everybody about him, he's going to take care of me and mine. And I'm making sure that I can get all of my people right. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh.
that whisper in your head, yeah, that's the warning before it comes for you. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Well, I thought y'all was elephant back like. <laughs> yeah, they were doing all that to me and my family. We was over here struggling, cows pennies. Um, baby, my baby going to the hospital back and forth. They put all kind of curses on him, just used him up. And uh, y'all was over here trying to make me all confabulated, trying to make me do this, that, and the other. No, it's coming back around, and it's going to hit y'all dead in y'all asses. Y'all donkey, dirty asses. Imagine you wrong, Prophetess Regina. Just imagine how I'm sitting in a chair in a corner of your mind, examining the nature of your thoughts. And every detail and everything that um that you think of. And then when you drift off to sleep, you see me sitting in the chair in the corner in your house. Looking at you like this. Your time has come, you see. There will be vengeance of mine. I declare it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the truth. Oh, look what we got on top. Humiliate. Uh-huh. To make someone feel ashamed and foolish and be um, injured for um, their dignity and their self-respect will be stripped from them. See if you mess with mine. I'm telling you, you don't mess with mine. You don't mess with mine. Today is a new day, said God, and I will rejoice. Today is a new day, said God. Mm -hmm. This is true. Just know when you get that rare chance to meet a light worker, an earth angel, your life is about to change. It's a it's a crossroads. It, it doesn't matter. Um, it could be for the good or the bad. See, they didn't want me to ever discover that I was an earth angel. They didn't. Want, they wanted to keep me down and use me, my good energy, and come around, suck off my good energy, and go back to their good devilish lives, jumping ships and jumping bodies and stuff like that. Look at what's happening to y'all. The king lives forever. He does. Trust me. I know he does. Ain't that right, babe? Somebody has a toxic husband. We don't. That's, that's a curse we try to put on everybody. We want everybody to have toxic husbands, toxic wives, toxic family members. Toxic, toxic ways. Um, the devil wants this world to just be all dirty and gluttony, and gluttony and everything. I know, I like I said, like a little. But what I'm saying is, the devil just wants everything to be upside down, look good, but it's not good for you. He just wants to kill y'all, take y'all, strip y'all, uh, rip y'all souls, and y'all just all walking in line, following the devil, following the devil. Everybody following the devil. Hey, the devil said, just do it. Let's do it. Y'all so ignorant. Oh, the superpowers of Jesus. Did they say that? The power that God got? The power that God? I said, God, I don't want to live like this no more. Because I stepped in. Thank you, God, for your mighty power. I said it. Mighty, mighty, mighty power. Huh? Y'all come move out the way. This is not my war against you. You're too vain to think that it is. I'd be flattered if you mattered. Look, half of them, they want to they wanna say something. They're so mad. Like, you can't, look, don't worry about it, um, peon. I'm trying to get the one that put the spell on you. Yeah, the one that tricked you into turning um to 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 uh to worship the devil. 
I'm trying to get that one. Don't you? I can save your soul if you get your raggedy um attitude out the way. Don't you want your soul to be saved? You already sold it. I'm trying to get it back. Oh no, that's so silly. Look, this is the truth. Good karma. Yeah, good karma for us good people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Good karma. Hard work. It's better to um, light a candle than to curse the darkness. Chinese proverb. Amen. And a woman can hide her love for 40 years, but he... Um, Disguise an angry night for one day. A man cannot disguise his anger for not one day. I guess that's what that says because I sure didn't write all the words in there. <laughs> I'll be driving up writing too fast, boy. Um, compulsive sex behavior here. We got hypersexuality here. Hypersexuality, intense focus on sex and um, orgies that are difficult to control their sexual desires to cause problems with their health, their jobs, their relationships, and other parts of life. Yeah, that's most of you guys that I'm talking about. You know, sex rituals and things of that nature. I'll be doing some dirty low down stuff. Um, um, grooming little kids and stuff. Using little kids and taking their innocence and stuff from them. Mm -mm. He did not do it, y'all. He did not do it. He did not do it. Look, they all up in my Kool Aid because they they um they trying to figure out my recipe for the flavor my flavor of my Kool Aid, y'all. They all up in here like. Let's see here. Let's see if I knew my recipe of her Kool Aid. Let's see. It's um your five D is screaming for you to wake up. See, some people five D is like, my goodness, if they would just stop and listen to Prophetess Regina so they can connect with us, so that they can be in their higher vibration instead of their low vibration. The devil tricked them up and got them thinking they're at their highest vibration, but you're really at your lowest vibration. You think you're rich, but you're really dead broke in spirit. You're dead. You're walking dead, people. is going to go to spiritual court for being a devil. Oh, look at that. So many of them, Lord. It's so many. It's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Let me get on on to her. I'm all tired of y'all. They are pointing fingers at each other. It's time to fess up, God says. So. Yeah tactics that you're doing trying to put put somebody over here on this person so that you can go clean up your mess and burn your evidence and stand back and hope nobody notices you remember I'm sitting in that chair <laughs> watching you run all those little steps you make in your house while you're trying to make sure you get every little thing out of there that might you know be of damage to you later. Okay. God saw it all. We got a healer energy in the house. I want to heal the sick. Isaiah 51 and 11 and 2. You poor city. Storms have hurt you and you have not been comforted. But I will rebuild you with turquoise stones and I will build your foundations with sapphires and I will use rubies to build your walls and shining jewels for the gates and precious jewels for all your outer walls. See, God said that's what it's going to look like in heaven and I'm going to be there enjoying it all. I'm going to be like, this dude is going to let it out. I made it. Thank you. I worked so hard to get here. And I'm like, 
it smells good. It's lovely. It's peaceful. It's, oh, this is amazing. This is heaven. Yeah. Me and my family. Yeah. That's what we doing. I love babe. <laughs> okay, if I do. Then somebody shucked and jive their way up to the top, and they did a little something strange to get up there too. They did a couple of rituals, a little, a little backing it up, and all kinds of stuff. They was sucking on their thumb and other things as well to get there. This is the truth. They don't want you to know that part. Why y'all want people to know that y'all be doing all that with each other? So y'all can stay relevant. Question. Do you deserve that too? Mm -hmm. I deserve better. And I know good and damn well that ain't what I want. <laughs> I don't want no parts of it. I sound disgusting. Um, Stop it to my pockets and quadruple it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Amen. And I'm on. And I'm on. And I'm on. Look. Money is coming towards you. Amen. Look at God. Look at God. Quadruple it, Lord Jesus, if you don't mind. Quadruple it. That way, when it's quadrupled, okay, I can do a little something for more for somebody else. Um, You just sweet talk yourself daily and tell yourself, I love me some me. That's healing. And when you love yourself, you won't allow people to be mistreat you and stuff. So you have to love yourself. You're like, uh-uh, I love myself too much to be dealing with this kind of energy. I'm going to go down. God says go down deep down in there. Get down there. Okay. It says, this is the truth. Love yourself. And it says, I pray that all hidden intentions and agendas um, be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's what I pray at this time in the name of Jesus. I declare that all hidden agendas, mm -hmm, every every hidden agenda in the world, especially when it comes to people that's doing things, they think that doing things to 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 um save their dirty souls from getting caught. You want them to be caught in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Amen and amen. And say la. Say la, amen. Conscious. Conscious. I'm conscious. If God is conscious of what we're saying. Listen, I said, that's okay. Okay. There's conscious and then there's content. That's hard to me. Conscious and content. Yesterday I was saying conscious, but I was supposed to be saying conscious in the script. Let me get some more and out of here. Time waits for no one. Michael Jackson. Hello, you Michael Jackson. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Follow the light. I'm going to leave with that one. Okay, that's a good one. Nice night. God bless you. Toodles. One. Love you, babe. God bless you.